What's going on, guys? This is Matty Ice. Thought I'd just do a analysis video. Had the day off today. Want to have some fun. Analysis of Losers Aids from Genesis 6, Rivals of Ether, Matty Ice versus Blue. In my opinion, arguably the best Raster Ditto ever played. Windows versus Blue last year at Genesis 7 was also a very good set. So much stakes on the line in this set. Winner makes the top six stage. Loser goes home. And me and Blue both coming from Xbox, being Xbox rasters and very close friends. It's just a very hard fought set all around. I want to start off here on the stage select screen to explain the spirit tree selection. I went up 2 0 in the sets, and each time I won, I included spirit tree as one of my bands, but. I decided to counterpick the stage here because I kind of just tossed all logic out the window. Now, Blue is a very good Spirit Tree player. His punish game is so good, and mine is definitely a lot weaker than his, but I kind of was just riding off the Tampa Tree Spirit throughout the day and kind of just used faith more than uh, common sense. So getting into it right here, interesting that Blue kind of starts off retreating to the right platform. I do a roll in. I guess I expect him to do like a dash attack and I'd roll behind him or something. But Blue going to the platform, pretty safe option. I thought it was interesting just because, you know, he's a pretty safe player. I just would have expected him to start off with a wave dash back, but not a bad option at all. We throw our slip streams together, make a nice color. One thing that me and Blue had a lot on this first stock is we couldn't really get a lot of combo strings. We kind of just got two to three hit aerials and couldn't really capitalize. One thing that is a huge trend throughout this entire game that you all see is Blue goes for a lot of dash attacks off the platform. And I just end up doing a lot of trades or just interrupting him with back air. So that's just one thing to look out for in the set. Right here is one thing very good that Blue did. I like to do a lot of forward tilt and a clap, and a lot of opponents will just DI forward tilt out. And if you just do that, it leads right into a sweet spot for a clap for Raster. But one thing Blue is very good at, and that he did right here, is he'll, he'll DI out, but immediately when his DI input is done, he'll start drifting in, which makes it very tricky for Raster to land sweet spots. So this was very good DI by Blue. I am able to recover with the slipstream, though. Right here, Blue was able to land and immediately parry. Forward tilt is a very slow startup move, so if I would have opted for down tilt, that probably would have hit, but Blue was able to get the parry right there. Ops for an up tilt punish. Gets a forward air clap. Now right here, he goes for an up B off the top. Back then, I knew Blue liked to go for this a lot, so when I was up towards that blast zone, I kind of baited him. I kind of stayed kind of DIing in, but then I jumped back to try to bait out that up B. Luckily, he went for it. He ended up missing, and he kind of just free falls. I opt to punish with an up tilt sweet spot, which I it was just a weird move. I don't know why I did it. I'm just very surprised it worked out because I feel like that you know he could have just bounced off the platform and it wouldn't really sweet spot, or he could have gone through the platform, but. Fortunately, he didn't DI at all, and I was able to get a forwarder sweet spot to take the lead. Right here, it was just bad move choice by Blue. He had the forward air, and, and forward clap would have killed, up clap would have killed. Obviously, he went for the dare spike, but yes, the dare spike would have killed, but it's a much tinier hitbox to hit, and he ended up getting the normal hit of the down air, so I was able to get back on the stage. Again, right here, blue going for dash attack. I think he goes for a nair here. And then I kind of just get a nice little punish on him, build up some percent. One thing I do a lot this game is I parry a lot of his slipstreams. You know, and that gives me invincibility for a few seconds, so always parry the slipstream if you can. Right here, blue trying to find the kill. I'm just trying to get more percents. Very... That's one thing Blue's so good at. And he did a lot better doing this in the previous games. His movement wasn't as good in this game, but usually his ground game is so good. 
he was just able to weave in and out and kind of just get the down tilt clap follow up to even things up. Right here, blue does a good job of avoiding my invincibility. I parry the slipstream again, but then blue parries mine. So now we're just a couple of slow birds. And then blue right here gets a four clap and just a huge punish. And somehow I do not die. Let's go ahead and go back, slow this down, and just show what exactly blue did to get such a big combo going right here. So he gets the speed boost from the slipstream. Fast falls his forward air. Does another forward air, and he literally fast falls it and kind of just like an edge cancel to where he gets all of his jumps back and all of his jumps back, and I'm just in a bad situation. At this point, I probably should have DI'd that second forward air out, but I was just so scared. I was just DI'ing in and praying. And as you guys will see here, he just keeps landing me with aerials. And right here, he goes for the four clap. I don't know how I didn't die. I guess I just had the lucky corner blast zone just being able to avoid it. I'm pretty sure he could have tornadoed and it would have killed me. Or just gone for another forward air because he's pretty sure he had another jump left still. And then just do a clap after that. But fortunately, I was able to live that. So, go back to normal speed. Get back on stage. Right there, that was a... Go back real quick. That was a very good up air scoop underneath the platform. Baited my landing on the platform. Fortunately for me, though, he didn't get too much out of it. Again, blue going for those dash attacks, and I just interrupt him with the back air. And because of that slipstream on the screen, I was just able to have as much aerial speed control as possible and get that F clap off the top. We both kind of, we both went for downers at the same time, but because he was still invincible, he ended up getting the dare spike and I didn't. Right here is something that I think is very underrated that happened in this set. Blue parries my predict predictable down air. And in the bottom left, you'll see I kind of acknowledge it. I do a little head nod and smile. Fortunately for me, he only goes for an up B. I think he thought it would have killed, you know, Raster being so light, Spirit Tree being such a small stage, but it didn't. He knew I was gonna he knew I was gonna hold in there, so he probably just could have gone for a down tilt into sweet spot clap or something, but fortunately I did not die from that parry punish. One thing I like to do a lot, and I think raster players should do a lot in general, is any stages that have a platform that hang off the side, just wave landing and refreshing your jumps and kind of stalling, just trying to pick your spot of when to get back to center stage. I think a lot of rasters should do that, so that's pretty much what I was doing right there. Blue extended off the stage, was able to get a couple hits. Okay. Right here, Blue just trying to find any way he can to kill me. Now right here, he gets a forward tilt. Blue not really a forward tilt kind of guy, he's definitely more of a down tilt. I DI it completely in. I think he expected me to DI the forward tilt out. So because of that, he didn't... He wasn't quite able to react in time to DI, or to catch my DI. Right there, I don't know how my downer and up clap didn't trade. Like, I'm pretty sure the sprite work pretty much overlaps each other there. We'll check real quick. Blue getting the four tilts. And this should have been a punish. If I DI in right there, like, that should be a free clap. Like right there, I just missed it. We'll go back a little bit though. Be a bit quicker on the draw this time. Okay, I see. So before my down air came out, his clap already had clapped. But right here you can see the hitboxes kind of overlap with each other. So I caught a very lucky break right there. I was kind of just spamming down air. But um, that definitely should have been a kill. So I got really lucky there. Both kind of just do a neutral blue. Again, opting for these dash attacks off the platform. And again, I interrupt him with a back air. I feel like it kind of just feels like blue played sort of mindless neutral, in my opinion. I feel like he wasn't as grounded as he likes to be. So, I don't know. I'm just not sure if he's quite in the right headspace. 
So right here, blue just trying to get the kill. I'm just trying to get percent. We trade forward air and down air. And, uh, sorry, let me actually put this back onto normal speed. So, uh, right here, blue doing a couple of these jabs does a very good job of kind of using my jumps and kind of realizing I have no option and just sets up a four clap and I'm just a, a sitting bird. So here we go. Crowd's getting into it like, oh, let's go, Mike. So, uh, final stock time. Right here, I get a couple of hits. Not too much, though. I do dash check off the platform. Now, right here, this is what I was talking about earlier. I acknowledge that he had parried me before when I tried landing with an aerial. So I do an empty hop here. And I guarantee you, if I would have landed with an aerial and he would have parried it, Blue probably would have won this game. Just because his punish game is so good, he probably could have done like a down air into forward air and kind of used this right platform like he did earlier in that one explosive combo he got. And that very well just could have been the game. But instead, get a parry whiff from him and I get a four tilt. Don't get too much off it though. Right there, I'm kind of just throwing out claps, even though they wouldn't kill at 53%, not yet. Blue, though, he starts evening it back up the percent. I'm again throwing out claps. We trade dash attack and forwarder. Blue, I don't know what exactly he was waiting for there. He kind of just laid off on his forward air. So I just kind of went down with the down air, and once again, we're back tied with percent. <laughs> right here, you kind of see me, like, fidget in the bottom left, going for an up clap. Because, you know, I'm just starting to get nervous. Oh and right here, I do a weird up tilt on the left side, which obviously wasn't on purpose. But, you know, nerves are starting starting to get to me. We both kind of just swallow out back airs. Right here, if I would have DI'd this forward air in, blue, he definitely would have killed me off the top just with an up clap. But fortunately... Had the awareness to DI outs. And even though I DI'd out, like I went pretty far to that blast zone. So that was actually a really close call. Blue kind of playing it safe on this edge guard. Not really going out there to come get me. I come back with a slipstream. And I think that slipstream actually might have saved me. Now that I go back and look at this. Let me slow-mo this real quick. My slipstream actually interrupts the start of his forward air. So if he would have been able to get that forward air, he might have been able to end it. So we'll see right here. He comes off. Yeah, that slipstream just interrupts him for just the slightest of seconds. And I'm able to avoid that forward air. Alright, so getting back into it. Again, blue going for another dash check off the platform. I once again do another back air interrupt. And right here... I'm kind of just wave dashing or dash dancing back, not sure what to do. Blue missed his wave lands, and at that point, I was kind of just thinking, I don't want to lose while not like going for the win. So at this point, I didn't really want to play it safe. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for this clap. If I get it, I win the game. If I lose, I lose. I would have been okay with losing knowing for the fact that I went for the win. So I kind of just kind of risked it all with this clap. But uh, once again, blue went for a dash attack. And I get another trade in the... I get the sweet spot out of it. Let's uh, go back and look back in slow motion with this. See, clap coming out. Not really sure how that sweet spot. I kind of just clapped the back of his feet from that dash attack. But uh, we'll go back to normal speed for the for the pop off analysis. You know you gotta do it. It's a Matty Ice pop off after all. So I'd say that was probably about a frame six reaction when I saw the galaxy effect and I get up, start cheering. You can see Blue. He kind of starts smiling when he saw the galaxy effect, kind of accepting the defeat. So here I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. And I'm right here. I'm just looking at Blue like. Get up. I'm going <laughs> to... I, I don't want to say because I don't want to say a... But uh, basically, get up. I'm hugging you. 
and right here my face like I'm just like oh yes oh thank God oh I'm so happy and then right here oh right here blue, blue looks at me in the eyes we lock eyes and just like Maddie I just want you to know Raster sucks and right here I'm like yeah yeah he really does I agree and then and then Trevor over here he's like you know what Raster doesn't suck I'm gonna nerf him tomorrow. So uh, we continue on back to me. Look at this, the uh, the Maddie the Maddie Screech, looking straight up like a Shrieker zombie from Black Ops Zombies. And then uh, Blue kind of smiling because that Screech is actually really bad. And uh, you hear Blue say, you know, f the ditto. Gets a good laugh from the crowd from it. And uh, but that's that's about it with that. But. Back to more of the crowd analysis. Let's uh, see what these people are doing. So right here, right when the game ends, you'll see Renzo right here. He kind of jumped up, like about ready to cheer. Now, him and the crowd pretty much wanted Blue to win, so I don't know why he jumped up. I guess he saw the galaxy screen and maybe thought Blue might have been able to get the win but there's no way blues dash tack got a galaxy effect so i don't know why he jumped up and then he kind of sits down back in disappointment Ladam with a bit of, <laughs> with a bit of a delayed reaction but right here you can see zb raising his fist and he's like he's like yes let's go i'm gonna lose a hundred dollars tomorrow in my money match and get fifth place and then right here i kind of like Ladam. he just starts clapping over his head like a monkey Renzo starts clapping. He's like, you know what? Even though it wasn't a team set, that was still a really good set. And then right here, Sparks' face, he kind of just starts clapping like, yeah, yeah, you know what? You got to give it to him. You know, you know that, was, that was a really good play by Matty Ice. V very good job. And then right here, here's Cool X. And then Cool X is probably just like, Mike would have won if he just would have upbeat him. And then here's Cake. Not really looking like, yeah. I'm going to win Genesis after I beat full stream, so I don't really care who wins this set. Cheese Dog and Anti, you know, they're clapping. You know, that was a good set. And I do a screech, and Cheese Dog starts laughing, because, you know, that was a that was a very cringeworthy screech. And then, uh, right here, my favorite part, we have Chaos, the person I played right before Blue. Right now, I'm sure he's just thinking his mind, like, how the heck do I lose to this guy? I'm chaos for crying out loud. But yeah. And there's Randall over there on the left. Trying to see who won. But yeah. That'll pretty much do it. Hope you all enjoyed this analysis of Matty Ice versus Blue. And um, I'll see you guys around some other time. Hope you all enjoyed.